Hey guys, what is going on? This is the Spartan of another Battle Nations unit review. Now, before I start this review, I want to say a huge thanks to a fellow BNA member for letting me borrow their account so I could make this video possible. Now, this review is going to be special because I want to get back to my account um, and I don't like taking other people's accounts. So I'm going to be doing a dual review of the Pain and Warmonger at the same time. So, let's get started. Uh, well, let's see, what could I fight? I have no idea, really. It's, everything here seems dead. Yeah, everything's dead. Okay, let's see. Maybe some boars. Yeah, that's great. Alright, they're here. Alright, that's awesome. And hopefully I won't kill anything. So, I'm sorry if I do right already so these both of these guys are maxed out at rank 8 and they both look pretty freaking sweet so we're doing the war and pain monger and let's start so we'll start out with war because it's the weaker one with a quad shotgun shot it's, that's pretty damn good actually and let's see the shield that sounded like a freaking mammoth but you know whatever alright and let's see this attack now I'm curious if it actually hits everything or just randomly spams oh no it hits everything this is one unit I definitely regret missing wow alright uh, let's just dedicate this part to the warmonger I'll do the rest of the piece with the pain monger in a bit so as you can see this is besides the random spam here this is definitely a pretty strong unit the pain the pain mon the pain monger is just getting hit on by everything so this is an extremely powerful unit by what I see right now I really don't like the randomness of this attack but again that's a personal thing please don't die <laughs> okay it's about to die that's fine it won't die so again this this is definitely a unit I regret missing out on just because of the base da just because of the damage and resistance that this thing has I mean I've just slammed through all, a whole wave of boars with two units I mean that's nothing amazing but again this damage is insane if something spawned that'd be great too but you know I'm not about to go through his friends list this is the BNA's members personal stuff and I'm not touching that I'm just earning him some extra gold all right, now let's get through the pain monger stuff. The pain monger, basically the same thing, just stronger. And looks cooler, at least to me. Looks like it got a fresh coat of white paint. Yeah. So, the pain mon so these were both exclusive units from the arena event where only a selected few amount of people got them bna just happened to come into second place so with bsr taking first so the pain monger seems a lot stronger it's maybe rng is on my side this time but it's taking barely any time to extinct everything here. Everything's just dying. The crits are out of control as well. Uh, both of these units seem great. Yeah, that was a dodge. Alright. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see, maybe I could do one more thing. Uh, let's see, let's quickly skip down to Rebel Bunker, no, it's not. Ah, uh, New Haven. Did any sil- are there any Silver Wolves here? No. Can I raid something? Yes, I can. Alright. There we go. Alright, just to see what these guys are like against Silver Wolves, because boars are usually not a very good representation of a unit's capabilities. So, here's a shotgun from war. And yeah, it does some great damage. I can't complain. 
look how puny all of these units look compared to these guys. It's hilarious. Uh, it's kind of a, yeah. This is these guys are just beasts right now. No wonder they were so hard to get. Let's see, only like the top 100 got no, the top 50 or so got no. Like wasn't it like the top 20 that got war? And then the top 10 that got pain. And the one, no, the top five, or was it? No, I think it was the top five that got pain. I can't remember anymore. I really just can't imagine the freaking deathmonger right now. I mean, pain is a big enough beast already. Okay, how how much stronger could you make a unit? Well, the plasma artilleries were kind of the answer to that, but. That's not what this review is about, and right now these units just seem extremely powerful. I I know I I know that's what I've been talking about the whole time, but do you see these guys just absolutely shredding through everything here? Yeah. Alright, let's conclude this video before I get too caught up with these units. Just let's get through the stats and I'll finish up there. And let's go back home. Uh, let's see, units. Don't want to look through his units, just go to soldiers and here we go. Let's start out with war. So, war. Or the Warmonger has 450 HP, 280 armor, 70 bravery, 85 defense, partial blocking, bonuses to everything. Its base resists 20% of explosive damage, 35% of piercing damage, 35% of cold damage, and 35% of fire damage, and 60% of crushing damage. Its armor resists the same exact amounts. Its quad shotgun has the first attack has 4 ammo for 4 turn reload, the second attack has 2 ammo for an 8 turn reload, and the riot shield has infinite ammo. The quad shotgun scatter shot does 176 to 248 times 5 explosive damage with a cooldown of 2, 1 ammo use, 1 to 3 range. Direct line of fire, 33, um, 116 offense, 33% base crit, 48% crit versus soldier, and 10% armor piercing. Now that's some awesome critting power. The double tap does 150 to 210 times 2 explosive damage for a prep time of 2, 5 cooldown, 1 ammo used, 1 to 3 range, a direct line of fire, 116 offense, 33% base crit, 43% crit versus vehicle, 58% crit versus soldier, and 15% armor piercing. The shield bash does 288 to 352 crushing damage for a cooldown of 6, 1 range, indirect line of fire, 111 offense, 35% base crit, 70% crit versus vehicle, 20% crit versus soldier, and a 25% chance to stun a target for 3 turns. And for the pain monger. The Painmonger has 460 hit points with 290 armor, 70%, 70 bravery, 85 defense, and partial blocking. Hold up, let me just take a drink real fast. Whew. Throat was getting extremely dry. It's It has bonuses to offense, crit, and power. And it resists 35% of explosive damage, 60% of piercing damage, and 35% of cold and fire damage, and 20% of crushing damage on its base. And its armor resists 35% of explosive damage, 80% of piercing damage, 35% of cold and fire damage, and 20% of crushing damage. Its quad shotgun has 4 ammo with a 4 turn reload, 2 ammo with a 4 8 turn reload, and infinite ammo, just as before. The scatter shot does 204 to 275 times 5 explosive damage for a cooldown of 2, 1 ammo used, 1 to 3 range, a direct line of fire, 121 offense. 33% base crit, 48% crit versus soldier, and 10% armor piercing. The double tap does 172 time to 233 times 2 explosive damage for a prep time of 2. 5 cooldown, 1 MOUs, 1 to 3 range, a direct line of fire, 121 offense, 33% base crit, 43% crit versus vehicle, 58% crit versus soldier, and 15% armor piercing. The shield bash does ridiculous amounts of damage with 332 to 406 crushing damage for a cooldown of 6, 1 range, an indirect line of fire, 116 offense, 35% base crit, 70% crit versus vehicle, 20% crit versus soldier, and a 25% chance to stun a target for 3 turns. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a Spartan, and goodbye. One more thing before I leave. Thanks again to Tra to I can pronounce this. Traganovs123 for letting me borrow your account for this video. Yo, you are a big support, and goodbye.